Enjoy the show. Drive on lug nut. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to Lug Nuts. This is the 260, uh, 276th, rather, per Jangers and Wallhangers Media Network presentation. And, of course, start your sleigh bells because welcome to Lug Nuts. Your sleigh bells may be ringing, but Mustangs are getting a little bit of markup. We're going to talk about that and more. Welcome, gearheads. Alpha's got a new car. It's exciting. We have an all new electric three series. It's bigger and longer. Who do you think they got that for? Uh, what cute Buick could have been. Lancia returns to its rally roots and more. Drive on, Drive on Lug Nuts indeed. Right on over here to PJANDWH.com where you will find the very funny and luggy nutty moments right up top as well as last week's Lug Nuts podcast, Bono's Sierra Prime Underwhelming Battery. You'll yep. find Big Brother as well as spontaneously myself, right over here at Walljanger Gaming. You might see him on Sundays. Maybe in the future. You might see him. Um, you know, we're trying to get him to also show up on Sundays. <clears throat> I want to I wanna get back into the Old Republic and really keep going in on that. Uh, there was some good vi- views on the YouTube, uh, so there is some people who want to see it. So, obviously, I want to keep going with it. It's a great game. And you're chugging along solidly with the Mass Effect trilogy. Yep. Started on the third part. Overall, it is a very good game. And, you you know, uh, to, to pl- go through yeah. the first one, it's worth it for, like, the payoffs of the yeah of the third one. Yeah, but even the second one is kind of like, that's... It's it's almost like the Godfather. It's a really series, it's a really good but game. But the third I one's played, actually good. It's I've just the them, ending. I, I didn't played like. them all every which way, up, down, and sideways. But we will also see this first story, which is all about the Mustang. They're going to get a price increase from about one thousand, two thousand, some up to about three thousand dollar price increase mm. depending on the options, but. <coughs> But there are more price increases. Dealers have been caught inflating the price of Mustangs because they're so sought after for uh, up to ten thousand dollars. So well, watch yeah. yourself. I mean, it's also stock the available inventory and what they have available. To well, sell. Uh, because of the pandemic, most companies have been raising prices because of chips and inflation. Yeah, man. In fact, they delayed the new Lincoln Navigator and Explorer till 2024. I'm in the Mexican that. factory just so they can keep producing these Mustangs because they're that wow. popular. I mean, so. it's a nice looking car. I mean, the, the rims could be something better, but I've seen worse. It's got a nice color blue there, I suppose. Overall, the car looks great. My only, my only. You know, minor nitpick is the rims, but that's probably trim level, spe- you know, specific. I imagine it's Ford. That, that's just the ones in the in the photo. <laughs> it's just so. they have five others. Check the price before yeah. you go to buy a car is my advice. Well, yeah, I mean, in this time. Because you don't want to get that extra $10,000 dealer lining his pockets. Yeah. Well, yeah. But we have a colon in this in the next story. They put a colon. You can mute the... It's a lot of shit. You can mute the video and uh, play that. This is a 360 walk around of the E colon N ah. SUV concept car. This is sh- at shown at the Guangzhou Auto Show <coughs> in China. This looks like one of the concept uh, vehicles they had in the picture from last week. Looks and like it's made they're actually of like going around it. painted cardboard. No one touch it. It doesn't look. No, don't blow. 
No yeah. blowing in the, that direction. Uh, they did notice this is going to be the first in what they call the E colon N series. I just feel like it's a whole bunch of, like, the wheels and rims are the most, you know, real thing about this Those concept. rims are something else. You're going to get an EN SUV, an EN GT, and an EN Coupe all in China. You'll see them within the next five years. Meanwhile, this is there's a very crate uh, in the fucking driver's seat. This is very uh, futuristic, I'll call it. And it is nice angular. looking. <coughs> it very looks angular. like it's from the uh, DeLorean line of, uh, yeah. of car design because it's very... Uh, I just... I don't want that to be the future. If it's in China, that sharp, angular look, I don't think that looks good. You this know, is for China. Yeah, but so even still, I mean, I feel the Chinese it, people different. deserve something better than that. It's different, and it stands out. I I well, like I'm, I like this one because it stands out. So does wearing a dinosaur outfit when you go to the grocery store, but that doesn't mean you should do it every day. Well, well how about we talk about Alpha? I would love to. Or I might not. We'll have to see. <clears throat> Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo is going to start an all-new car. Mm. It will be a guy, Giliato. Giliato? Giliudo? The sedan. Gilia? Gilia? Sedan, but it will be an all electric car. Yeah? I don't know. I'm not a linguist. I'm not Italian. That's why I. Can't <laughs> say it. I'm from here, which is not where the car will be produced. This car will be built on their STLA platform, the large platform from the Stellantis company. So. They do have high hopes for the car. They say they would like to do amazing things like 0 to 60 in 2 seconds and have a range of 500 miles. It's nice that they're really setting their sights for the stars, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's I mean, just... 500 miles. Even Elon isn't it's at like, that. Even wow. with his new batteries. No, he's, I think he's beyond that. Oh. He's, he's, beyond he's, the yes. stars. Elon is going beyond the rest of us mere mortals. He does not need for companies or stock or... Where we're going, we won't property need roads. Whatever. But you may need this next story because it's great. Mazda's doing a wonderful thing. They're set taking pre-orders for hand control cars. This is our photo. They're taking reservations. For those of you who don't know, people who are disabled in a certain way can't enjoy the majesty of a nice drive like the rest of us. Because if you can't operate your feet, you can't really... Makes sense. Use the car, and you need hand controls. So Mazda's starting pre-orders. They should be delivered. The MX-30 SUVs will be in the car, and they should be ready by January. Hand controls will be there along with a seat that can snap in place for regular uh, drivers, regularly abled drivers, as the article says. Okay. A and the uh, regular foot controls will also work as well in case they'd like to let someone else drive it. Really like the suicide do rear door. It's a nice, it's a nice looking SUV. I feel like it should have been standard in more cars like before now. You know? Yeah, well, especially for those, a little extra room in the back for the with the small crossover SU things. SUVs. Why not do that? It just makes sense. You've been doing it with the trucks for years, having that little mm -hmm. pop out, John. Why? Why has that taken so long to hit the, S, the small crossover SUV market? You know, because that's the a strength, smart play. It's a weak. It's a weak point. Yeah, yeah. You need to yeah. do the door in such a way that the develop technology. Mm -hmm. Like in this next story. It might even be. A dream. Uh, it's a dream. Have you been dreaming of a Yaris? I know you have. Scroll down beyond God, the I hope end. nobody's been dreaming of a Yaris. And what is the, the Yaris? The Yaris. Mira was Toyota's electric car, which was charged using hydrogen fuel cells. 
They began to experiment with hydrogen combustion engines in 2017. And in May, Toyota sent the Corolla to the 24-hour endurance race, where it racked up 930 miles on hydrogen power. It's impressive. It is impressive. Which they're going to use FECIV. I'm sorry? Yes. Hydrogen-powered fuel cell electric vehicle. FECIV! Yes, <sighs> FECIV is the word they're going for. All right. Hydrogen doesn't provide direct power to the wheels. Instead, the fuel acts like generators by forcing hydrogen and oxygen to chemically react, producing only electricity and water. No tailpipe pollution. Wow. Onboard battery stores electricity, much like modern battery electric vehicles, except you can fill up in minutes and then just go. Wow. So it's like so it's a better using... version of a battery car. So if hybrid, I'm understanding something. this correctly, it is using the chemical reaction of the hydrogen and the oxygen mm -hmm. to charge the battery. Combined to, with magic. To move the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, that electric creates... motors go. That just creates the electricity, and that those are put to the uh, electric motors, yeah, and it goes from there. And then you have regenerative braking yeah, and all, all the that. other hybrid technologies. So essentially, whatever they want to add, hydrogen electric hybrid. Although it, the Yaris here is an almost zero emissions vehicle, it produces carbon dioxide and other gases that may or may not be released. But it's that was a section by a lawyer. A step in the right direction. It is. I think it's a fantastic step in the direction. Especially when everybody is so focused on electric. Nobody was even thinking about hydrogen electric. Even, mm -hmm. you know. That's why everybody. endurance races like Le Mans and all that, they really do matter. Especially yeah. in the car market. You yeah. got to test them and you got to test them somewhere. So let's test them in the world of rally. But... What's BMW doing? BMW i3 sedan. Ah, uh, the i3 has been released. The all new, or has been published. The information in China, the government, they published it to the government. The, it, the i3, the E-Drive 35L is what they're calling it. And it has an i3 badge on it. They restyled the front end. I guess that's what they tell me. It looks like a BMW. They've also was gave really it a longer wheelbase because this one will start in the largest motor market in the world, China. It has a single motor rear wheel drive based version with 335 horsepower and a top speed of 112 miles an hour. I mean, look, it still has that BMW front end, but yeah, it still looks different enough. It's nice to know this is the first electric vehicle they're putting on in the market. Yeah. It's a great place to yeah. put it on in the market. Especially the 3 Series. There's a lot of people over there. The 3 Series, everybody sees this like that intro BMW. Like, yeah. 3 Series three is series. a great car. And it is. <laughs> and, I mean, all of the BMWs are great. I just yeah. never got used to their shifter. I just always found it weird. You know what I found re weird? This next story. Why you wouldn't go with that? Like, look at this. Look at it. Ready? No, no, no. Scroll down. Look at it. Ooh. Ooh. Tell me that's not <coughs> the sexiest thing you've ever seen. Is that a concept for the Mako Ooh. for Mass Effect? Or? That, no, that is a concept car. It was a Buick released in 2016. Rear wheel drive of Vista Coupe. I'm sorry, my headphones are broken. It sounded like you said that. Said It sounded like you said Buick. I know, Buick. Who wow. wouldn't want a Buick like this? Wow. It's no, sexy. I mean, it's sleek. It looks like it's about to star in its own Pixar movie. Seriously, it's supposed to talk <laughs> and walk around. I'm expecting it to be like, what is it, Kirby, the love bug? Fucking moved? Santa Claus. So Seth Rogen is going to hop out of that bitch. Like, <laughs> this is what Buick could have been giving you instead. Oh. 
you know, you could. I mean, it. that thing is fantastic all yeah. over. Look at those wheels. I mean, everything about this is sleek, sexy, wonderful. And this is what they released on uh, <laughs> GM released as what we could have done, but we gave you some other shit instead. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Let's talk about multiple colors and where you can't find them in this next story. So, have you ordered your Cybertruck yet? Holy crud, it's ugly. No, but... It well, is you can get it in any color as long as it's stainless steel exoskeleton. That's it. Oh, That's I mean, the color. <clears throat> and it cannot be painted over very well. It's really hard to paint over, apparently. And don't continuously throw marbles at the windshield, at the side glass. Yeah, why would you? Okay. Why would I do that? Why would I buy a car and Metallic throw marbles? Metallic marbles at that. Ball yeah, bearings? It was, it was the... Uh, Let's just keep throwing ball bearings at this wind, windshield. Yeah, wind that's amazing because we were glass. throwing ball bearings before and it worked fine. <coughs> yeah, uh, well, it's just, yeah, no way. That's why. And when you shot a gun at it, it broke. Really? Come on. Mm. Well, we know you're watching. Oh, we you hope. I hope too, but in case you're with the cyber truck and you might want to launch, Peugeot and Whirlpool have something cooked up. For I'm you. sorry. I, ju- I just have to just what? I got to hover on this a little bit of how okay. ugly this is. But it's very ugly. If it was offered, let's say that is offered at 10 grand. Are you buying it? No. 10 grand. I don't have 10 grand. I mean, finance, 10 grand, it's going to be... I have a car. $50 I a month. I have a very good-looking Mazda. Car. $50 a month. Somewhere. You have a cyber truck. It's that truck. You always, and who doesn't need a truck? you got a cyber truck. I work mental health. I don't need a truck. Truck anything. And all the mental health you want is trucked right in the back there. They provide vehicles that I'm to drive... This one is cyber. Right. How about we talk about Peugeot and their need for kitchens? Uh, sure. Peugeot has a desperate need for kitchens. I'm going to be dun. right alongside with Peugeot on this one. I mean, who doesn't need a kitchen? But if you need a display kitchen, Peugeot has got something for you. Stellantis and Whirlpool have crafted this new concept, and they've been doing a tour with it. It's dope as fuck. It is a mobile kitchen or yeah. food truck, as they're calling it. Oh, that's awesome. It does have, they mentioned, the W6 and W7 combined steamer, which is a thing, apparently. I mean, you know, it has able to steam stuff. It does have large fold-out countertops. Probably some outlets you can plug shit in. It was just on a 20-city tour training 72 sessions with more than 500 salespeople all about I don't, this food truck. I don't that think you could have 500 to a display near you. No, right? I don't think 500 salespeople could fit in there. No, no, no. They trained 500 salespeople oh, to sell. Oh, all on one? That's impressive. Probably not. A, they, they moved oh. to 20 different cities. Okay. I spelled city wrong. But that doesn't matter because we're going to get rally in this next story. Sure, you don't want to talk about the kitchen again? No. If you remember, Lancia has been known to be for their rally. Rally here, rally there. Lancia love to rally, and they're returning to rally with the Delta. They're going to join the World Rally in the KCG Motorsports, the World Rally Cross inaugural electric vehicle championship season. Lancia Delta Evo E. It is an all-wheel drive setup that has two motors that make 671 blistering horsepower and 649 foot-pounds of torque. If you're lucky and a rally fan, you could get run over by this car. That's what they want, right? 
Yeah, it's every rally car's dream to just be run. Every over. rally fa- car fan's dream to get hit by the car. He got run over by number forty-seven on that race. Like what? Forty-seven? Are you serious? It has an acceleration of zero to sixty-two miles to an hour in one point eight seconds. Nice. Fourteen cars will be competing for this season. They will be making a limited run in Europe. It has a 124-mile range, 671 horsepower, 649 torques. Are I find it impressive that they are going the e-market on racing, and I think it is a future. It's you nice know? to I mean, see. Uh, I think in this market that you're going to be limiting the combustion engines, that you, it's important you replace that with the e market. So it's important you replace all the over. motor sport. Yes, the motor sport is what's important. Because it, not only the money, but the fans themselves will yeah. eventually think of all the people who want to get run over by their favorite race car driver. Yeah. And they'll appreciate, like, I e might NASCAR, be missing EF1, E Indy, E everything. Oh, yeah. If they keep e- that electric is the way up, to go. F- it, it, you just have nothing but promise in the future you can still keep these motorsports in the future and clean mm-hmm. the environment which is what people want i guess i don't know and to be run over by their favorite e-racing uh, racing driver that's the main important it looks thing like an awesome car care. i hope they do well oh yeah i want to see uh, the rally continue we haven't had rally for a while Oh, yeah, man. I mean, and nice to know rally's coming back next year. Dude, when you see those rally drivers and you have the guy in the cockpit, first off, I would not, you would not want me being your guy reading off directions in the cockpit that you, we'd be fucked and We're wrapped around crash. a tree. Yeah, that's my first thought. Wrapped around a tree. <laughs> You're going to want to need somebody better than me as your direction. You should be able guy. to set up a, a computer program with like an algorithm. Mm Based on the speed and uh, the GPS location, the computer go- left, yeah, this right now, left here. I mean, yeah, especially left, now, right, straight. Good job, just, pal. Can't you just pop on your ways when you rally, dra- rally I don't, racing? I don't think ways is covered in rally. They should ways rally, and then you could have like different voices as your fucking person giving you like you can have like captain picard giving you make it so slight left on the right (laughs) yeah yeah you can take ways and record your own voice for each of the turns left turn right turn but it it won't say the cities right turn wall janger like because if you leave the uh standard voice it'll say what's on the sign man that'd be dope yeah You'd have to record all the the syllables that you say. I would like that like dragonfly thing, voice to text thing back in the nineties. They're probably still a company. I call us. God, I hope not. <laughs> and if you want to call us, you can go over here to pjandwh.com where we love to hear from you. Please yeah, write us. us. Tell right us right all here. about your automotive cars, Maybe. fantasies, projects. Love to talk about it. If you have a podcast, just hop on over here and let us know. Do you want to be a guest on the Triforce podcast or Lugnuts podcast? This is where you're going to pop on over your request. Just like, uh, I don't know, multiple people that have done and future people that you will see on. And, of course, you will always find the funniest and luggy nutty moments right up here at the top of PJANDWH.com. But this is none other than a infamous, long, drawn-out goodbye. Because it doesn't matter if you drive a Ford or a Ferrari. Nothing rolls without lug nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Drive on! Drive on, indeed.
Mama Tanya, drive on lug nuts. Drive on, gang. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Play on my tangers. That was a good segue. Our Island Kelly. Okay. 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 Ho, ho, ho. We're going to get a new loop today. Eh. Eh. We've got to make enough room for our cardboard Kelly. Really? Yeah. Because we have to make room okay. for something, man, because the room in my heart for F1 just a little glimmer of it died until next year today. I don't think the headphones are going to last. It doesn't work with the hat. It doesn't look right. Does it look not look It right? looks fine. I don't think it looks right. <laughs> it looks maybe angled. The loop, I'm, I'm, I'm not using the headphones. No, 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 no. You know what? And I... Not I don't talk on the loop too, not, so you know we don't need loop. Video. No. We don't need. We don't need the Big Brother live video. Uh, will not have the Santa hat, but I mean, maybe just angle a little bit. I like it for this podcast. I think it. I think it works. There you go, with the ball, balls to the side, just balls to the wall. But in our first story, tuck them to the side. Mustang markups, Alpha's new car, electric <coughs> three series. Uh, what Buick could have done. And Lancia returns to its rally roots for us all. Yeah, man. That's what we need in our lives, a little rally. We need to rally behind Drive to Survive. Yeah. Because after this amazing season... Hamilton you know, uh, was robbed. I'd like to say it. I feel he was robbed. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know who fucked up, but I think someone, whoever decided not to pit, yeah. that guy needs to get fired. Yeah, no. Whoever decided not to pit and decided, nah, man, stay out there. The position is I mean, in jeopardy. Do you even fucking know Hamilton? He could have fucking. No, if he just changed tires once, they would have. It they was... would have been fine if they went away from a one-stop strategy. Everybody wants to do a fucking one-stop strategy. But I will say congratulations to Max Verstappen because it was yep. his first win. And that is something to be celebrated, but it's also something to be avenged in it next year. Yes, good luck. You're going to Alpha. <laughs> You're to love the back of the pack. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be great. Yeah. I mean... Bye-bye! If Vettel can't do anything, yeah. like... Oh, yeah, you Vettel. know. But then again, to say, right before Hamilton joined, Mercedes wasn't doing the best either. So That's maybe true. they're making big moves and now, really convinced him. The real heartbreak mm -hmm. of this entire show, of the entire race, rather, was Kimi Raikkonen, man. Yeah, his, his last, last race. race. Jinx. I'm really... Ah. I'm really, you know what I'm going to miss most about Kimi's retirement? It's the press conferences. <laughs> but it, he has taken out like that, He has man. the best press conferences. I if mean, you Sergio haven't Perez seen got, some, <sighs> you know, he, he has, fame. we're going to uh, we're gonna have to look up some famous Kimi Raikkonen quotes. Oh, yeah. That's going to be another end credit segment. But for him to go out with just a car failure, man, it's, ah. Uh, it's just so heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, rather than just being in the back of the pack. Yeah, it was a shame. Oh, well. But we want you to hit that subscribe button right there. Like and comment below. Right above my head is going to be the very best Purge Hangers and Wall Hangers video for you. Right above Big Brother's head. Well, that is every single Lug Nuts podcast and a playlist. And ho, 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 our main man Connor says... Every time when I hit the button. Drive on, lug nuts. Drive on, gang. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Drive on, lug nuts.